Back by non-popular demand, at least I can't remember it, we've got another FPR comment video coming up. I'm Mike. I'm Jinx. And I'm and Harm. We're joined. Yes, we're joined by Harm. Because we <laughs> just couldn't fill 30 minutes with just two of us. Look at that, that sure is a pretty belt he's wearing right there. Hang on, I'd like everyone to join with me in a golden shower. Oh, LK is the only participant in that golden shower. Glorious. He and Ghetto should really get together and have a duo shower. I would like to add something here. As you'll see, Legend Killer, who is both copyright of WWE and GCW.com, I don't know how that's possible, but here he is. I like that Beautiful belt. tag belt there. Yeah, that's an awesome I, belt. I've seen that belt before. I hope to see that belt again. Yes. Now, as we always do, remember our disclaimer. We are Mystery Science Theater fans. I don't know about harm, but the rest of us liked intellectual comedy. So please, don't take anything that we say offensively. We do care for all of you and don't wish to be shot in an alley. And if you don't get any of the jokes, you can always search it up on Google.com. Shameless plug. (laughs) And... Yes, he is fresh. Oh, wow, he only opted for the one shower entrance. Ladies and gentlemen, this should be a wonderful match between Randy Killer and the Under Titan. <laughs> oh, you know that we'll see. Look at that, that's immaculate. I've never seen a man with it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go on record as saying this is probably the freakiest and most awesome intro I've ever seen in my life. Where does all that smoke come from? <clears throat> Good lord. Ah. Yeah, a lightning bolt. That's Jesus gotta hurt. Christ. And he... Now, does he come from the lightning bolt, or does the lightning bolt hit him and he just appears? Or does it just reflect off the ta- of the friggin' title? I don't know. Maybe he grows out of the ground. That's true. The lightning bolt could actually cause him to sprout. That sounds painful. I hope, I hope we don't have a Michael Jackson accident coming up with all those pyros on the side of him. <laughs> Pan at the crowd. <laughs> that's that's almost a nice belt. Looks a little small. I like it. At least it doesn't look like a silver dollar held together with tin foil. Yeah. Both men showing off their incredible underarms. All right, let's get this match underway. Nick Patrick, our referee again. Poor Sap didn't get enough of it last time. Maybe he wanted to see more shots to the face. Shots to the face are always nice. We're all for shots in the face here in GCW. And shots to the cojones also. Some of us like shots to the face more than others. (laughs) That's me. And this titanic battle between two men starts with them shuffling around and then groping oh, at each European other. Oh, European uppercut. He's not European. Well, you can't call it an American uppercut. And a beautiful set of missed grapples. In the back. Got him in an arm wrench and countered. Club to the back. Club to the back. If I have to say it again, I'll cry. (laughs) Uh, Suplex? All right. An actual wrestling move. Well, why wouldn't you have wrestling moves in a wrestling match? You do remember watching the last one with me, right? Shot to the face. (laughs) Beautiful counter from a prone position. Coming up, and will we see a DDT? Yes, we will! The first of many yet to come. As long as it's not a clothesline, I approve. Well, nothing really bad so far. More than what I would not expect. Nice reversal there. Can we get Goes another knee the to the, the ring? Now, where's she taking him? Oh. This is going to hurt. Oh, God, shot to the face. Oh, he bounced. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, I've been on the other end of that clothesline a couple of times. And every single time, it has not been pleasant. 
Comes through with the Irish whip. And, ooh, nice counter. Right to the small of the bag. Let's get our... And then this thing. Ow, oh, God. I can attest to that. That does hurt. Killer coming out of the blocks with an incredible flurry of getting beaten up. Miss he's, he's using that strategy to make Titan's fists hurt from his face. It has to be it. Maybe if he tires Titan out, he will no longer be able to... Wait a minute. Is he doing... He didn't He should have done that before the match. Oh, come on. Notice he squatted, though. Always go before you leave. <laughs> go around, spins him around, and a beautiful grapple. And a shot to the eyes. God damn it. Spinning back body drop. You can't Titan. see Titan. I notice a lot of power moves in Titan's arsenal. You wouldn't expect that from a large, powerful man. Not at all. Hey, guys. Make a wish. I wish oh. Titan wasn't such a heel. Oh, man. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. I'm having flashbacks to Bret Hart. Oh, oh, Jesus. How many of those will we see? Oh, fire uh, beast. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Stalking, legend killer, coming into the ring, slowly, ineffectively, getting clotheslined. Now, right Did there, do you think he waited long enough for Titan to be in the ring before he clotheslined him? I have to admit, he's waited longer than some people. Yeah, good point. And I think... I think some time to actually allow for him to get into the ring, get settled, as long as you know he's not going to attack you immediately, which I don't think Titan would do, wouldn't really be that bad. But that was kind of borderline. I can't really comment on that. Will we see a power bomb? Yes. A spinning power bomb. Notice the killer is already double red, double yellow. Excuse me. Oh, that's okay. He's still got better durability than I do. Toe kick. And a series of missed grapples. Oh, Titan walked right into that one. And he walked into that one. And a missed... Oh, wow. <laughs> he basically just windmilled and hoped that Titan walked into <laughs> it on that one. And a broken grapple. Titan gets a hold of him, goes around, and beautiful German release. But did you notice that? The broken grapple. And they both backed oh. off. Yes, that is true. They both backed off. If only more Very people important. did that. Whip to the corner, and knee to the gut. And knee to the gut. And knee to the gut. Simple yet effective. And, ooh, somehow countered his knee with a punch. Neck breaker. I have to say, so far, I've been actually been very impressed with the FPR on this. It's been very fair, nice, back and forth, except for LK getting the crap beat out of him. Well, it looks like he's got the upper hand at the moment. We've seen some nice counters, and I think I can see this match only going for another, f oh, 10 or 15 minutes or so. Oh. Whip it to the ropes, and countered into it a coconut crunch. Don't understand why they call it that, but... And he's going up top. With a... Nice spinning elbow. And running clothesline. Your favorite yeah, broken broken grapple. grapple. Oh, look at that and knee. To running the face. knee. Oh, that's different. Randy Killer gets up. He's not doing so well. Punch to the face. Punch to the face. And he chokes him. The dreaded one arm choke. Of course. That is the third most most powerful move in GCW. Oh, Titans. What is red already? What is the most powerful move in GCW? That would be the Tazplex. Uh, the Tazplex. <laughs> Whip to the ropes, comes off, and oh, oh, another running knee to the face. That's another thing I'm a, I'm a little iffy on is when you counter an Irish grapple or Irish whip and you're catching yourself on the ropes, if someone is close enough, they can grab you while you've still got your arms on the ropes, and you do not have a chance to reverse. 
That's true. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, though, you don't really think about it. I've also seen cases where uh, people will count will be countered while running, bounce off the ropes, and then come straight off with a run with a running attack, ma- basically making the entire counter pointless. Uh, that's just more of a game mechanic thing than anything else, and I don't think most people think about it. Ooh. And that, that was a clothesline. skipping clothesline. That's different than a running clothesline, so I'll allow it. <laughs> now, I have to say, over the ten-month period that GCW has been around, possibly the most dominating superstar that we've had, that we actually tolerate, has been the Titan. You've been in matches with him, I've been in matches with him, even Hardcore Marcus was in matches with him. And I have to say, I have never had someone like that that I have never been able to fully beat in my life. Hold on, let me move the pedestal off from under Titan real quick. Oh, oh very funny. <laughs> oh, he rakes him in the eyes. Get him in a grapple. And will we see a punch? Yes, we will. He could pin him after this. He could, Connor? but if I'm not mistaken, this is a Hell in a Cell, correct? No. Yes. Or this not is Hell actually in a, cell. a steel cage match. <laughs> Buried alive. The cage, the cage is done in electrified, invisible <laughs> wire. Oh, Titan's and favorite judgment slam. Lands him right on his neck. Remember when that used to be his finisher? Neither do I. Elbow to the bread basket. Now, one thing that I've noticed that everyone does need to pay attention to, it's not one of the big problems that we have here, but it's always a problem. I've seen a whole lot of backing off while people are getting up, backing off during the broken strikes. Not a whole lot of over-aggressiveness here, and it's making it out to be a much better match in the beginning. And the repeated kicks to the face. Okay, apparently had some bad sushi before the match. Coming up, and a choke slam. Is he going to the outside? Oh, no. Oh. He got insta-countered, and LK going upstairs again. And hits with the clothesline, flightless bird that he is. Gotta love those clotheslines. Punch to the gut, and the DDT. Here's and gentlemen, we've seen pretty much all five of these superstars' moves. Can they continue to go? Titan's pretty winded at the moment. I suppose he could win, though, if he pulled out another DDT. Put me to the ropes and a running clothesline. Someone shoot me now. God, I'm having flashbacks. But at least, at least in this match, the running moves have been spread a little bit further apart. Oh, it's been fantastic. Uh, we've always complained about heavyweights using too many running moves for their size. These have been done, and done tactfully, to not take up the entire match. We see, we've still seen plenty of ground and pound and some striking. So far, ten minutes into the match, and I'm enjoying it. Well, also, another thing to take into account is, is both of these superstars, albeit they are heavyweights, but they're slim. You know, they're not huge and muscular, you know, like really, really big, like certain superstars who... Double A! <sighs> or Sorry, people a that, that, you know, are bigger up top than they are down below and like to do jump kicks. Yes, very strange. When one's legs are far too short to actually move their own titanic upper body, one would think they would not be able to jump at all. I see the steel stairs are in play now. Who will be the first to use and spam it? I wish you could do moves onto the steel steps or onto a steel chair. That would be nice. Ah, but soon, soon, my friend. That is coming next year. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, is he going to hit him with his back And, oh, oh that's nailed him with the right steps. Right into the post. It's like a modified concerto. That's not going to be pretty. Oh, man. That'll give somebody a concussion. Legend Orton is not looking well right now. Come on, Randy Killer. Get up. He th- throws him into the ring. Where Titan is home. Titan slides back out. Like some kind of short bus person. Grapple on the outside. Where's he pulling him to? 
Oh, this is going to be fun. Ah, uh, business is picking up, and a beautiful set of shoulder blocks. Obviously, they didn't go over the barricade because the fans are still standing there. It must be. LK is looking very worse for wear. I know Titan's head is red, but I don't believe his body has taken that much damage so far. And he tosses him over the barricade. This could be over any minute now. And... Oh no! To the Randy sky. Killer's going to be counted out. Oh, never mind. I don't think someone can be counted out in a Buried Alive match. At least not in a non-WCW format. I'm just wondering why Titan oh. didn't go in there and capitalize on him when he had him down. Titan's busted open! By God! By God! He's bleeding like a sieve! And that's a lot of blood. Good lord, he's bleeding like Shawn Michaels. Oh, and he actually connected with the steps. No one bleeds more than Shawn Michaels. I still say that the quickest match ever would be a Shawn Michaels versus Sandman first blood match. I don't know, Ric Flair bleeds really well. Yes, that's true, but he's also very old. Hits him with the stairs, and then nails him with the stairs again! My goodness. There's and that sushi coming into effect again. Why did he just teabag the world champion? That's not a very nice thing to do. No, it is not. Good lord. Setting up a table. I can only think what malicious designs he will have here. I wonder who's going to go through the table first. Inquiring minds do want to know. It's a choke slam and countered by some random... Oh, Titan must be too... Why is he on the table? Oh, jumping clothesline, connects. Ladies and gentlemen, I have officially seen more flying moves in this match so far than in the last Jack Evans versus Rey Mysterio match. And he's up on the apron. Is he going to fly again? He must be. And again with the tea bagging. Does he have diarrhea? Cha cha cha. Stop that. Harm, quiet yet reflectful, is still here with us, I think. No, and I believe we've lost Harm for the moment. Ah, uh, we've lost the good friend. And he connects with an elbow to the knee! And that knocks Titan out! Counter on the pickup. How many times can grapple. Legend Killer fly like that? A choke slam! Oh, it's countered! How could he not see that coming? My god, a classic for the ages. And he's going to fly again. And he flies off with a wonderfully missed clothesline. Well, looks like he may have hurt his knee there. Ladies and gentlemen, I think Legend Killer is ready to join the extremist division. Oh, is he going to put Titan through the table? Looking for an no. Oklahoma slam, but Titan wriggles out of it. I think it's time, folks. A shot to the face. A choke slam attempt, and he countered out of it. How does he do it? Ladies and gentlemen, this is quite like watching a German shepherd ram its head repeatedly into a wall. You feel sorry for him, but you don't really want to stop because it could hurt you. Oh, broken grapple there. And a kick, and a punch, and a giant boot. And Titan slides off the table. He's back up. We're going to see someone go through this table before the end of the match, folks. I guarantee you. It looks like we're going to see it right here. And a DDT through the table. That is going to end his career. And Titan is laying there motionless. Now, at this point, I would think a good idea would be to pull the dead man into the ring and pin him. Pins don't count in buried alive matches. See, that's why I'm not allowed to be in these kind of matches. Oh, a beautiful running spear. I believe Legend Killer has been busted open, has he not? Yeah, he may have been. All those shots to the head has got to leave a small oh, nice Russian leg streaming sleep. from his head.
L.K. has mounted Titan and is now giving him shots to the face. <laughs> One has to wonder how much longer these two can go. They have to be exhausted at this point and need to think about going towards the casket. And a walking clothesline. I would like to point out, 17 minutes into this match, we have not really seen any serious problems with FPR at this point. No, I think there's only been a, a few minor grapple breaks here and there, but that's to be expected, as long as it's not, you know, every single grapple attempt. Ladies and gentlemen, we enjoy showing you some of the worst of FPR, but then we want to show you some of the best, and so far this has turned out to be one of the better matches that we've seen in a while. Please do not emulate these two people, because they're already emulating two other people, but you get what I mean. Wait, you mean Legend Killer is modeled after someone? Yes, I believe he's actually an exact carbon copy of Chris Jericho. Ah, that explains it. It has to be. I mean, look at him. With the black hair, and the toned muscleage, and the RKO, he's almost exactly like Chris Jericho. Ooh. That is not... Oh, my God! His was someone face cooking just a bomb? exploded. Something just exploded on his face. I mean, I had some burritos in there from the other day, but I don't think that was it. Ah, it looks like a lucky fan is going to get his own souvenir. Hey, whose hand is that? Careful, folks. He bites. Don't feed the Titan. Okay, clearing off the rest of my banking. Setting up a table. I don't know what he's going to do with this. Oh, it looks like he's going to try and put... No! Titan counters! Yeah, I could be wrong, but I think that the grave is over in the other direction. I do believe you're right. Setting Titan up on the table. What are we going to see here? A slap to the chest. Incredible! The pinnacle of wrestling! Oh my god, he's climbing the 20-foot high scaffolding. Ladies and gentlemen, this has to be the most insane heavyweight I have ever seen, and he comes off with a spinning elbow butt head thing. That what was connected that? and broke the table. Amazing, folks. I've never seen anything like this. Ever. Titan, who was in complete control at the beginning of this match, is starting to be in very dire straits. He's completely lost his edge. He's completely unconscious. <laughs> Well, that does come along with losing your edge sometimes. We're going to see a fire extinguisher. Oh, and another spear. The dogs of war have been let loose. Who let the dogs out? I would think that that would be you. And a punch to the face. Ladies and gentlemen, the best of scientific wrestling shown here for you in GCW. And a running knee. LK really wants to use that fire extinguisher. Maybe he thinks Titan is hot. Okay, I'm not even going to touch that one, honestly. Oh, no, that's expensive sound equipment. Stop it. Who do they think pays for this stuff? It's not me. It's definitely not me. Oh, Titan takes a huge shot to the face, and a series of shots. Repeat it. How many shots to the face can one man take? You would be surprised. One man taking shots to the face from five or six others, he can stay up for quite a while. And Titan just got electrocuted. He has mounted the Titan once again. And giving Soon him more shots to the face. Soon he will ride him off into the sunset and put him in the grave. Oh, and he and a misses shot with it from again. the fire extinguisher. He needs to put that thing away. It is not helping his chances. And an Irish whip into the same corner. Oh, now Legend Killer is receiving the shots to the face. You have to switch off every once in a while or the other one gets bored. It's a give-and-take relationship. 
Oh, dear God, where did you go? Due to technical difficulties, Harm has now rejoined us. God, he scared the piss out of me. <laughs> and now Titan has the fire extinguisher. Will oh, he dropped it. No, he picked it up again. It must be slippery from all the oh, shots. Oh, he to dropped the face. it again. <laughs> well, blood is a natural lubricant, and having been used yes. many times, blood, blood is what we're talking about. Lots of blood. <laughs> Picks up a table and sets it up really far away. It looks like a fan was trying to give him a crutch. I'm thinking Titan might be a little optimistic here. This is a really long way to jump. Oh, he slaps him in the chest? A really long way. Oh, no, he's actually going to try it. Wow, like ROH far away. Like uh, this. This is not good. Luchador far away. It, it, Titans Titan. are not meant to fly! Oh, God! He missed. Oh. Ow. Jesus. Rest in peace, dead man. Oh. Have a nice day. That's the kind of jump that afterwards you play with Tinker Toys for the rest of your life. While wearing a safety helmet. Oh, there's no need at this point. That boy done jumped himself stupid. Mounting him on the table. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen an extreme amount of high-flying offense, and we're about to see LK miss horribly with a chair multiple times. Oh, he okay, connected once. Go. And, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to doubt that LK is a heel. But I have seen far too much weaponry in a Buried Alive match. And on the table again. He's going back to the well. Uh-oh. Titan is joining him on top of the table. What is going to happen? Could we see a pedigree here? I think. No. No. A DDT. Yes. Yes. Now, put the dirt over him. Wait, no. They're not anywhere near the grave. Titan going back into the ring, where there's still no casket or grave. And he taunts Legend Killer, who is seemingly dead, in the outside area. Randy Killer, not looking well at all, I'm telling you. He's getting his ass beat in this match. Something fierce. He hobbles over the ring. And running clothesline. Just barely connected. There's God, a I love those something uppercut. Lines. It's an American uppercut. And he's okay, going looking for under another the ring chair. for another chair. God damn it. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say LK's use of weapons needs to, I don't know, stop. Well, it doesn't seem to be helping him at all. Exactly. And a broken grapple. And they're trading punches back and forth here in what seems to be some kind of Indian mating ritual. Oh, nice reversal. Oh, and he just leveled Titan with that one. Beautiful shot to the face. He's got the chair and countered! And nailed with the... Oh, boy. Oh, no, look at this. Oh. Oh, God. That's just wrong. That's never good. His singing career is over. Titan looks like he's in complete control again here, and if he would just pin him, or take him to the big dirty place over there where he can put him in a hole and shove dirt on him, dirty we could have ourselves a still GCW champion. Oh no, he's doing the same thing back to Titan. Dear God, I've never seen a move like that. And he's flaunting his armpits at Titan. Trying to reassure the crowd that yes, yes, he is sure. 26 minutes into the match and still no big FPR breaks. Other people, please notice this. If these two can go 26 minutes and moderately entertain the announcers without breaking FPR, I think you guys can go five. Still, aside from a few minor grapple breaks, which are due to happen in any normal match because sometimes it's all about timing. 
If We're going to see another choke slam. We haven't seen him really have a successful one yet, and he nails it. I mean, if both people, if one goes for a grapple and one goes for a strike at the same time, it's going to look intentional, but we promise it is not. That's Human when you back up. allows for that. And in the cases where we have seen it happen, more often than not, we have seen them give each other a little bit of space. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think he's starting to move towards the... No, no, no running clothesline. God damn it. Yes, your head. I know. I think he was yelling to the crowd, me smart, me smart. He would have to be. Come on, you're almost there. Yes, he's moving towards it. No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, yes, no. Y yeah, yes, go towards the, go towards the light. Not the light, uh, the dirt, the dirt. Whatever, there's lights over there. A oh, beautiful modified backbreaker. backbreaker. He takes a page out of Randy Orton's playbook with that move. And he's trying to taunt the dead man. Taunting Titan is generally not a bright idea whenever he's still able to breathe. Especially when you end up bouncing off of your skull from a DDT. Always. Titan apparently trying to lure him back toward the center of the ramp area so that he can send him towards the coffin! They're, they're just toying with me now. They hate me. And Legend Killer was holding on to nothing for dear life. Sometimes you just have to have balance when there's none. Looking under the ring, and he's got another steel chair. You would think by now, if it hasn't worked for you, just stop. And he misses horribly, as he does. And gets the hell knocked out of him. Oh, we've got a counter. Chop to the chest. And a toe kick! And finally, finally, a shot to the head. Titan is down. I don't think he's getting up. Oh, he's heavyweight. up already. <laughs> this is Sandy. why he is our world heavyweight champion. Was. Is. Can be. Ah, oh, beautiful counter. Titan looks a tad bit funny doing little flips like that. Yes, he does, but that's not really his fault. Power bomb on the outside. Power bombs like Ladies that make my spleen hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, here the dead man is showing us why everyone in GCW calls him Fluffy Bunnykins. Where is he going to choke slam him? Oh, counter from the choke slam. I never expected such a thing. And shot to the face. And shot to the back. Now, as you'll notice, Titan is not a, is not being attacked right now by OK while he was in that groggy animation. While not necessarily stated in the FPR rules, this is a good will showing that we do normally do, seeing as it's involuntary. Because no matter what you can, no matter what you try, you can't get out of that animation until it is done. Absolutely not. And Titan's whispering in his ear. And we're about to see a heavy grapple. Yes, they're finally going towards the dirt. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 30 minutes in, and they're finally heading towards the casket. No, don't come back down. No, no. No, no. And they're moving away from the dirt. No, they're going back to it. This is not my contract. And elbow to the face. He's got him for the pedigree. It's it's close to the dirt. Oh no, he countered it. Back body dropped onto the ramp. That will not do wonders for your spine. Where is he going? He's going back to the ring. Can we fire him? Can we do that? No. Please. I can't take this anymore. We just talked about it. Go to the dirt. Miss chair shot into a spear. You would think Randy Killer would be tired of getting speared by now. I don't know, but the Legend the Orton seems to... What is it with his fascination with the chair? And FPR has broken down into a mishmash of running moves and chair shots. 
things are starting to slide the other way. After a 30 minute match, it's hard to say that the entire match is crappy because of this, but come now, this is starting to get kind of bad near the end. Trading shots. He's got him in an arm wrench. Another thing, that groggy animation when you're getting up and you're hurt, you can say, I would not be upset if someone came and gave me a punch or a slap to the chest and then stepped off so that it would, you know, wake me up from that animation. I have actually done that on occasion. And we, beautiful flip back. You could do that, couldn't you, Harm? Harm says yes. Thanks for the input, Harm. Ay, ay, ay. Taking the turnbuckle pad off. I'm not sure why, since the turnbuckle is nowhere near the grave. He and he doesn't even whip him into the turnbuckle, which is now freshly exposed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ADD in progress. Ooh, look, a pelican. Ah, a Russian leg sweep. Although LK is not Russian, to my knowledge. What are we going to see here? Could he be going for that horrible move of his? Oh, oh. Oh, God. That's the, uh, what, what does he call that? I forget. I'm not sure, but it's the only non-Randy Orton move I think I've seen in his inventory. I don't see that move enough to actually know the name of it. I believe that it's called the Twist of Fate, generally in our game. Uh, what, why is the teabagging? I don't need to see this. Wait, no, he calls it the Kill K.O., that's what it is. The Kill K.O. Yeah. That makes no sense whatsoever. I'm dropping Snake tight eyes space. into another one! Oh, he is going off on Hellmaster at this point. He is just abusing his face. Goes into the ropes, and a running clothesline! Oh, Titan tries to fight back. Get some momentum going corner. of his own. Are we going to see a suplex here? No. no! We see a super tiger bomb. I tell you, if he pins him right now, he could probably win this match. That would be nice. And now the steel steps are back into play. A series of counters back and forth. Apparently neither of them can decide who needs to hold the stairs. Oh, okay, misses. And finally Titan just gives up and needs him in the face. Oh my. He probably didn't see it coming, but because the steel stairs are so big. I figure he'd be used to big things coming at his face by now. Oh, that's a low blow. No, that was a running clothesline. Golden shower. <laughs> and they're going back to the outside. One can only hope they're going towards the casket. I keep forgetting there's a casket here because we've only seen it once. I'm pretty sure this is a buried alive match. Right now, if both of them just laid down in the coffin and went to sleep, I think we'd all be happier. Picks him up. Is he going to Oklahoma slam him? Is he going to... He's not going to carry him all the way, is he? It's like carrying a small child. Ladies and gentlemen, our world champion was just put on someone's shoulders and carried like a tiny child up a rampway. On a positive note, they are by the grave now, so now we should be able to see some good back-and-forth action. Five, six minutes by the grave. Heads into tombstones. Counters. Recounters. Who knows? Slap someone with a shovel. DDT them on the dirt. Do something. I, I'm excited. I want to see some counters. I want to see a casket get countered. I want to I mean, see them, them fight and struggle to close the to close the lid on the casket. I can't wait. It's going to be fantastic. I've waited 36 minutes. 36 minutes, and finally, we're going to see this kind of action that we've really been looking for in a Buried Alive match. It's going to be so great. A couple of missed grapples. That's okay. They're testing each other out. No one wants to be the first one to go down in this test of strength. Oh, this test of might. Dirt. 
and he has been mounted yet again. They really should do that in a private area. And now we're going to see a shovel, the grave equivalent of a chair. It's waiting, waiting, oh, and he catches it with a grapple with it! This definitely puts LK on top. We can look to see him dominate for the next couple of minutes, I think, but Titan may still be able to come back with some... There was a toe kick, and whipped him into the casket, and now for the counter, and... Oh, that's that's it. It's over. And he rested in peace. The the match is over. Yes, the match is over. That's it. There's there's nothing more. Um It's done. We've we've got a new world heavyweight champion. I feel sad. That's Oh, it's a brown shower. <laughs> And as lightning strikes the grave, we see the last match for a while of Titan. This, my friends, was another FPR match. One that we think was actually pretty good. Look at it, learn from it, see from two of the best that we have, and we will see you again in the future! Thank you, and have a nice night. I'm Harm, I like ponies. <laughs>